Well guys, it finally happened. Just like most of us knew it would, Fallout 76 is slowly going pay to win. We have our first pay to win item now. What are we, two months? Almost three months and a couple weeks since the game's release and they're already trying to sell pay to win items to us. Before we hop into today's video, shout out to both Coach Toolshed and Epoxy for their videos covering this topic. I watched both of them for like information, for research. I seen Coach Toolshed's first, looking into more information I came across Epoxy's video. So I'll have both of their videos linked in the description below, and I'll probably be using screenshots from one of their videos because, as you guys know, I don't even have this shit installed on my Xbox anymore, so I can't even show it to you myself if I wanted to. So what we have here is the Unstoppables category in the Atomic Shop. Of course, the Atomic Shop is the microtransaction store for Fallout 76. These items came as a part of the last update. They sell to you the, like, in-game, in-universe, like, comic book character outfits. You have, of course, the Silver Shroud. You have Mansa Man. Don't even recognize that. The Inspector. Don't recognize that either. And then you have the Grognak costume. There's also, like, a trunk and a bed or something. The issue here isn't the fact that these items are overpriced, though they actually are. They each cost 800 atoms, for the outfits at least, so that equals about 8 actual dollars. So if you wanted to collect them all, we'll say, it would cost you around 32 actual dollars. And then of the stash and the better, both 500 atoms, so roughly about $5 a piece, that's an extra $10. So if you wanted to buy everything in the Unstoppables category, it's going to cost you around 42 actual dollars, or a lot of in-game grinding. And kind of another quick side note, something I just found a little bit funny, is in Fallout 4 you can find both the Silver Shroud and Grognak costumes in Hubris Comics entirely for free. But here in Fallout 76, well, those are going to cost you $8. Now, overpricing aside, the actual issue here is that these items, for a limited time, these outfits, are going to give you in-game buffs for each one that you have on your team. You can have a team of four people, obviously. For every Unstoppables outfit that you have on your team, each person is going to get an extra 15 health, so we can have upwards of everybody having an additional 60 health. And as pointed out by Coach Toolshed in his video, that's a substantial amount of health, because people in the later game of Fallout 76 can have around 300 health, and here you are getting an additional 60 health for free. Well, not for free, because you got to pay for the items, but for just wearing this outfit, you're getting an additional, like, fifth of your health bar added on. So what we have here is the exact definition of pay to win. These are items that you can only get in the atomic shop. And if you use them, you're getting a health bonus. You're getting an in-game bonus. It doesn't matter if 60 health points does not seem like a significant amount to you. It's a free bonus. Outfits in the game don't ever give you any bonuses. At least when I was playing. Outfits are something you can put over your armor so you keep your armor stats. But you can look cool if like, you have some armors that don't match. But here we have outfits now that are giving you in-game stat bonuses. And something else that adds on to this to make it an even worse situation is this isn't something that's really known about. It's kind of going under the radar. It's not really being advertised except on the main home screen of Fallout 76. So as you can see right here, up in the top right corner, we have the Unstoppables ad, essentially. This says, become unstoppable through February 4th, gain plus 15 maximum health for each member on your team wearing a unique Unstoppables outfit. And as of right now, this seems to be the only place that this is being advertised, and probably on purpose, because if Bethesda were to, I don't know, tweet out about this, post on Bethesda.net about it, or even make a post on Reddit about it, it'd get flamed because it is, in, it is pay to win, man. And something they said they would not do since the beginning of the game, since they announced this multiplayer, cosmetic items, microtransactions, they said there'd be no items in the Atomic Shop that give you any kind of in-game bonuses, and right here we have a blatant fucking lie. There's going to be those people out there that try to defend this. I, they've done it before when I've made videos about the Atomic Shop. Oh my god, you could earn atoms in game, and it's not that big a deal. No, that's not what it is. The Atomic Shop isn't built for the people that are willing to bust their ass, grind in-game to earn atoms to buy shit for free. That's not what it's designed for. It's designed to make money off the people who are willing to spend money. Because 800 atoms is not an insignificant amount. I remember I busted my ass when the game first came out. I played a lot of time, put a lot of hours into this game, and only had just like barely over 1,000 atoms. I had like 12... 1300 atoms or something like that and that's a lot of hours i put into the game and each of these outfits cost 800 a piece like you got to play for a while to earn that so this isn't meant for those people these that's why things are so overpriced in the atomic shop because it's like do i want to play this game for 20 plus hours or something to earn the atoms for this item or do i want to drop you know ten dollars and buy it for the people that don't want to put the time into the game they can just drop money that's the point of microtransactions and then there's going to be the people out there that try to defend it because it's only lasting a certain amount of time well no shit that's the incentive to buy it if I purchase it now, if I buy it now, then that gives me some in-game buffs for just a little while. Like this, <laughs> hello, that's the goddamn point. Because there's going to be people out there that are kind of on the fence, maybe, if they don't have enough atoms, they're like, oh, you know, I kind of do want the Silver Shard outfit, that's kind of cool, it's an outfit from Fallout 4. But then it's like, oh yeah, there's also an, a health bonus. And they maybe want to spend the money now to buy the item, because if they don't get it before, you know, February 4th, there's less incentive. It's like, it's just an outfit at that point. If I get it now, I actually get stronger in-game. 
And obviously pay to win extra stats is an issue because the game has PvP, regardless of how relevant PvP is in Fallout 76, it still is a thing, but pay to win doesn't just have to be for PvP, it's an issue for PvE as well. Maybe there's some there's events that some players can beat and some can't, and if you have this extra, you know, 60 health amongst your squad, that's an extra 240 health between all of you, maybe now y'all can actually beat that event, and people that don't have those outfits can't. Even if this additional 15 health per item, upwards of 60 health in your squad, doesn't seem like that big of an issue to you, this is only the beginning. This is like the first time they're doing this. Who knows if in the future they're not going to sell us the Antagonizer outfit or the Mechanist or some other superhero outfits, and those give you like extra attack. Like Everybody in your squad that is wearing an Unstoppable outfit, uh, you gain an extra 5 attack, so everybody could gain extra 20 attack or something like that. This is just the beginning. This is just the first time we're seeing this. Who knows what it's going to do in the future? And the Bethesda apologists out there, the guys that still play Fallout 76 that try to defend it to this day will try to defend this as well, but they have no basis for defense at all because it's Bethesda line. It's pay to win. They said that nothing in the Atomic Shop would give us any kind of in-game bonuses. Bam, you get additional health if you buy these items. They lied to us. They lied to you guys. You can, you can, maybe you don't want to accept it, but it's true. Anyways, I'm done talking about this trash game for now. I might have another Fallout 76 video here pretty soon. I don't know exactly, but I pass it off to you guys. Whether you play the game or you don't play the game, I want to know your thoughts on the situation. Is this pay to win? Is it not pay to win? Do you also find it a bit shady that it's really only being advertised on the home screen for Fallout 76? Which means only people that actually enjoy playing the game are going to see this. Either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. No more notifications. Follow me on Twitter at TheDashingDavid. I'm a Discord. Links to my social networks are in the description. And in the outro. Later, guys. No. <laughs>